how to update your email account settings in Apple Mail on an iOS device. If your online content has migrated to TSO Host's new and improved hosting platform, you'll need to update your email account settings. We're going to show you how to do this in Apple Mail on an iOS device. Updating these settings is critical to continue accessing your email accounts when moving to a new server. Or it might also be necessary for troubleshooting if you're having issues with receiving or sending emails. But before we proceed, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And you could click the little bell logo so you'll be told when our next how-to video debuts. So where do you find your email account settings? To begin this process, open your internet browser app and navigate to my.tsohost.com. Then sign into your account. Select the burger menu, the three lines at the top right of the screen. Then choose services and my services from the drop down. This takes you to the my products and services page. Scroll down to my services. Then scroll down the list until you find your cPanel. Ours is cPanel maximum, yours may be a different package. Then click the green active button. This takes you to your manage product page where you'll click log into cPanel. Then navigate to the cPanel admin button and that will take you to your cPanel dashboard. You could scroll all the way down to the section called email or simply type email in the search bar, which is what we're doing. Now select email accounts. Then choose the email address you want to set up on your email client and choose manage on the right hand side. This takes you to an email settings page. Scroll down to configure and click the connect devices button. This takes you to the setup mail client page. There are options for automatic configuration, however, for this tutorial, we're looking at the manual settings. The same settings can be used on other email clients as well. Where our incoming and outgoing servers are named after the hosting server, yours will be called something different, depending on the server your domain has been added to. So what's the difference between secure SSL and non-SSL servers? Simply put, a secure SSL connection is, as the name suggests, more secure, and therefore we recommend it. Now, it's important at this point to ensure you remember your email account password. Might even be worth taking this opportunity to update your password. Now, a word about the difference between IMAP and POP3. Using IMAP will keep your messages on the server in the cloud, so you can access them on any device. IMAP is suggested for people who are using more than one email client on different devices. POP3 downloads the messages locally onto your computer or phone. If someone uses POP3, it's possible to see all the messages only on a single email client and you won't see those messages on your webmail because they aren't stored on the server. Because of its added flexibility, we would always suggest using IMAP. To add your email account to your Apple Mail app, start on the home screen and navigate to Settings. Scroll down to Mail, select that, then select Accounts. Now select Add Account. From here, you select Other, then Add Mail Account. In this new account page, you add your name, your chosen email address, and the appropriate password. Now it asks for the names of the incoming and outgoing mail servers, which you made a note of earlier. It'll also ask for your username, which is your email address. It should auto-fill your password, and if it doesn't, it's the same one you used to set up your account. Press Next, and it will verify your details. This might take a while, so be patient. When it has verified your account, it gives you IMAP options. You want Mail to be activated, then click save and you're done. You'll find yourself back in the settings menu, so go back to the home screen. Now it's a good idea to go to your mailbox and just check that your emails are all there. So there you have our guide to adding your email account settings to Apple Mail on your iPhone.
Before you go, feel free to like this video and click the subscribe button. Then you can hit the little bell logo so you'll be told when our next how-to video debuts. You could also come and find us on social media and tell us which how-to videos you'd like to see us make next.